Hi guys! Um, this video, um, I want to talk about um, candle magic. Um, it's kind of like an introduction. Um, candle magic is how I first learned to um, cast spells. Um, simplest, simply, candle magic is the easiest form of spell casting. I think. Um, it doesn't require a whole lot of um, fancy ritual. Um, it doesn't require expensive ceremony tools. Um, anyone with a candle can perform candle magic. Um, I think we all remember, and we probably still all still do this, but when we have our birthdays and we have our cake and the candles on the cake and we make a wish before blowing out the candles, that's candle magic, guys. <laughs> it's 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 the same theory. Only now, instead of just hoping um, your wish will come true, um, now we are declaring intent on our on our wish. Um, if you sit and really think about candle magic, there are three key um, magical principles. Um, one is decide on a goal. Two, visualize um, the end result. And three, focus your intent to manifest that result. Um, what, you know, you might ask, well, what sort of candles? Most practitioners of Wicca will tell you that much like a few aspects um, of life, size really isn't that important. <laughs> um, in all actuality, a really big candles may be counterproductive. A candle that takes too long to burn down um, can be really distracting to someone who's working a spell that instructs them to wait until their candle um, burns itself out. Um, typically I like to use um, the shorter um, taper candles or um, the votive candles. I find that those work the best. Um, in some cases um, a spell may call for um, a specific type of candle like the seven day um, candle or a figure candle which will represent a particular person. Um, one of my favorite my favorite candles to um, purchase and work with, um, believe it or not, are the menorah candles um, which can be bought in the kosher section of the grocery store. Um, they're about four inches tall they're thin and they're white and I they're unscented and I find that those work the, the best um, so if I can't find those then I'll go and I'll just get either the smaller taper candles or the votive candles those work the best for me um, when you're working candle magic you always should use a brand new candle um, virgin materials. Um, you don't want to use a candle that you burned at dinner or in the bathroom. Um, it's, I believe that once a candle is burned, it picks up vibrations um, from everything around it. So in other words, a used candle is already tainted by um, vibrations and will probably lead to um, a negative or um, ineffective and magical outcome. So it's best to always use a brand new candle. Um, as far as what colors to use, color um, represent the the what represents the intent that you're working towards. So um, a red candle, as well as representing um, south in direction directional ritual or magic um, as fire. Um, 
red also represents courage and health as well as sexual love and lust. Um, pink represents um, friendship and sweet love. Um, orange is attraction and encouragement. Um, gold, um, financial gain, business um, endeavors, and uh, solar connections. Um, yellow is for uh, persuasion and protection. Green, financial gain, um, abundance, and fertility. Um, light blue is health, uh, understanding, and patience. Um, dark blue is depression and um, vulnerability. Um, light blue also represents water, or blue represents um, the east side, um, or this, th this, you know, water in the direct direc directional rituals. Um, let's see, purple is ambition and power. Um, brown is earth related working or animal related working. Um, black is um, represents is for negativity and um, banishment. Um, white, of course, is purity and truth and silver rep, uh, reflection intuition and also for um, solar um, connections um, so after you've selected your candle um, you'll want to oil it um, or dress it before burning um, this is a method by which you'll establish which establishes a second link between you and your chosen candle. So in other words, you're charging the candle um, with your own energy and personal vibrations. Um, also, you know, you're projecting your own, you're projecting your own energy and personal vibrations um, into the wax before you're burning it. Um, to dress a candle, you'll need a natural oil and a lot of this, and I like, I like to use grapeseed oil because it doesn't have a scent. Um, but you can use any natural oil or just, or you can go to a Wiccan supply store and buy a um, candle anointing oil. Um, so when you're dressing your candle, I make my own candles, so this is um, a candle mold. So when you're dressing your candle, you um, start at the top of the candle and rub the oil down to the middle of the candle. Then you will start at the bottom of the candle and rub the candle up, rub the um, oil up to the middle of the candle, stopping where you stopped when you came down. Um, other traditions of Wicca, when they're anointing their candles, it's the opposite. Um, you will start at the middle of the candle and work your way up. Go back to the middle of the candle and work your way down. Um, so it just depends on what tradition of Wicca you follow. Or if you're like me and don't really follow any set Wiccan tradition and you're just taking bits and pieces for different religions, just find the way that works best for you. Um, if your working calls for herbs to be used as well. Um, you still oil your candle, but you roll the candle in the powdered herbs so they stick. Um, the, most, the most basic form of candle magic uses a colored piece of paper which matches the candle that you're working with. Um, you just decide on the goal, write it down on that piece of paper. So just let's just say, for example, you're doing a working, um, a money working spell. So you write your intent down on a piece of paper, something like "I will become financially stable," or something like that. Um, some traditions require that you write your intent down um, in a magical alphabet. Again, it just depends on what tradition you follow. Um, because it's a money-oriented working, you would use um, a gold or green piece of paper 
and also a gold or green candle. Um, as you write down your goal, visualize yourself achieving that goal. Think about the different ways in which your goal will, might manifest itself. Um, could be you're getting a raise at work. Uh, perhaps someone who owed you money will come out of the blue to repay their debt to you. Um, once you've written down your goal on a piece of paper, you fold it, concentrating on your intent the entire time. Um, some people like to say a small indication um, as they do this. Um, if you're one of those people, this is a, a good this is a good time to do that when you're folding your piece of paper. If it helps you to, to visualize. Um, and it doesn't have to be anything fancy. You can say something like, extra money come my way. I could use a little cash today. Extra money come my way. As I will, some of it, so shall it be. Something small and simple like that. <laughs> it doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be poetic. Just as long as it gets your point, your intent across. Um, after that, you would just place um, one corner of the folded paper into the flame and allow it to catch um, fire. Um, as it's as it's on fire, hold you know you hold the paper for as long as possible without burning yourself, of course, and then place it in a fire safe bowl or call or a little tiny cauldron like I have um, to allow it to burn the west the the rest of the of its way out. So you're allowing it to burn out by itself. Um, and at the same time, you are um, letting the candle burn itself out completely. When the candle has burned out completely, dispose of it. Um, rather than saving it to use again, just get rid of it. Um, because the purpose of, of that candle it has been served, it's burned itself out, dispose of it. Um, usually there's not much you know, left of the candle anyway. Um, so you can either bear, you know, bury it outdoors or just dispose of it um, in whatever manner you choose to do so. Um, so that's a basic candle working ritual from start to finish. Very basic, very simple. Um, I think candle magic is an awesome way for people to get involved in spell casting. Um, I, I, to this day, even though I've been um, practicing my spirituality since I was about 14, um, I'm 32 now, so yeah, um, I still prefer candle magic over all other um, spell casting methods. So that's just me. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. Hopefully it was, was found um, informative. So, if you have questions or comments, please comment. Um, video respond. I would love to hear what you have to say. Have a good day. Blessed be.